No Film School's coverage of NAB is brought to you by My Road Reel, the world's largest short film competition, is back. Shutterstock, your source for stunning HD and 4K footage, plus high quality music. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post production, and television. Hey guys, it's Micah from No Film School. We're here with Ted. Uh, at Aperture, and they're up to a lot of cool stuff. Uh, last year we saw their light storms, and uh, they previewed their wireless uh, micro four thirds speed boosting follow focus <laughs> thing that was pretty cool. Um, and this year they've got Fresnels, uh, LED Fresnels, the Aperture Lightstorm COB 120T. T, yeah, okay. Lightstorm COB 120T. Um, so yeah, show us what's going on with this unit. You bet. So if the Lightstorm LS1S panels were what made light panels totally affordable, what we got here is we got the Lightstorm 120 COB T, which is basically going to make the hard work light totally affordable. So right now you've got your Aero Luna metal body build. There is a fan built into here, but if you can listen, put your ear by it. Ow. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nothing. No, I can't hear shit. Totally silent. Yeah. So, uh, same design as the old light storms. You got your same power pack here, dimmable. We have a daylight and tungsten version and a color temperature adjustable version coming out. It uses the same wireless remote as the old light storms. Now this is even brighter than our LS1S. This is equivalent to a 1.5K in terms of tungsten output. Super bright light. And on the back of it, we've got this uh, Bowen's S-mount. So for all you guys that have those old photography accessories, say your softboxes, your umbrellas, we have a little umbrella stand here. All these accessories, your beauty dish will all work with this light. And just like how the light storms brought down the price of all LED panels, the Aperture COB T is going to be bringing down the price to 585 for an LED work light, 97 CRI, 1.5K equivalent. Yeah, cool. This is, is coming out in May. And so we have a daylight version coming out as well. That'll be okay. three months from now. Cool, so we're here to check out the Aperture Lavalier microphones. Yep. Uh, earlier this year, you guys came out with this unit here. It's like a $30, really good sounding for the price point uh, lav. Now yep. you've got an updated version. Uh, tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So this is called the A-Lira, and basically what it is, it's a lavalier microphone for not only mobile use, because right here you've got a port, you've got a USB-C. USB-C, which means that you can actually plug this into your, straight into your MacBook, you can plug this into a professional audio recorder, you can plug this into your, any of your mobile devices. And the reason this is important is because this year, Apple decided that they're gonna be getting rid of the 3.5 analog jack, which means all we're gonna have is our lightning port. We have a microphone now that goes off of, that goes off of lightning port. Uh, in addition to that, we're giving you back that 3.5 millimeter jack in case you need it. Giving you back a plus and minus for playback audio. And the a -Lear is actually going to be priced at $120. So basically, if the Lightstorm was our way of making LED lights affordable, we have a broadcast quality audio microphone that's coming out soon. So um, right now we have the Sennheiser 416, which is the uh, audio standard for most mixers. Um, and right next to it, we have the D3 microphone. So what we're gonna do here is we've been doing side-by-side -side audio comparisons, and the idea is we wanna make broadcast quality sound affordable. So you're gonna do a quick side-by-side -side test. You're hearing the clarity right now of the Sennheiser 416. Check, 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 check. Now we'll switch it over. I'm gonna pop this out, and we're gonna go right here into the D3 microphone. Check, 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 check. Check, 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 check. You hear the drop off and how the difference in quality. One has a wider range than the other one. The Sennheiser feels a little more directional. Mm-hmm. It did sound very similar. Similar. So, and are these the same polar patterns? Yes, indeed. Super cardioid. Okay, great. Yeah, and the after D3 mic is coming out. It's going to be two hundred eighty dollars. Wow. Any mic you can get that's that's quality is in that range is pretty good. Yeah. I mean, because. You're usually looking at spending a thousand bucks or at least six hundred bucks yeah. to get a minimum good, for a shotgun. Uh, yeah. All right, now we're checking out the DEC lens regain. This is really interesting kind of speed booster, wireless follow focus unit that we saw last year, and now it's fully in action and shipping. Yes, indeed. All sure. right. Hell yeah. If you're not familiar with the DC, normally does uh, the DC is basically an adapter, and just as that adapter itself, that adapter is going to let you pull focus. That adapter is going to let you change uh, your aperture. And you're also going to be able to start stops. Now we have the DEC in full force. And if you look inside, optics, hooray, glass. 
So this glass is really cool because even though we don't make glasses Aperture, uh, this glass is being sourced from the same factory that Nikon gets their glass from. So you know the glass is extremely high quality and I would suggest if you're thinking about buying it but you're unsure about the glass quality, just go online. There's already some side-by-side -side tests with the Metabones S Speed Booster Edition. Um, it compares very, very well. So just when you thought we were done, uh, there's more from Aperture. We got this little um, new, looks like a Fresnel. Storm light Storm COB20, yeah. Right on. Uh, tell me a little bit about this. So basically this is a small LED Fresnel light. Um, you can see right here, the first thing I'm going to note is that the battery power um, comes off of anything that's DC, anything from 5 volt to 18 volt DC power. So what that means, 5 volt means that you can literally plug it into a cell phone dongle and this will actually run off cell phone power. So like a Mophie power pack, you could plug that in directly here and this light would go off of it. This is a 120 watt LED light and 18 volts means that you can also plug it into a V-Lock or uh, Anton Bauer mount and it'll also be able to run off that. You can also run off your Sony lithium ion batteries, you can run off basically anything. And here you'll see it's a pretty bright light, equivalent to a 120 watt tungsten. Because it's a single source means that when you put it down, you're gonna see those lines that you cut. Which means you can do that kind of noir -y look if you wanna do it. You can draw lines with this. Um, you can see that line, that yep. complete strip that I'm cutting. Um, so these barn doors are really, really effective with this. Light. That's great. And what is what is chip on board mean? So chip on board basically means um, we have a, a randomized matrix of LEDs here that are all put in within this small centerpiece. So as opposed to a light panel where you'd have many, many small LEDs that are put together in kind of a, like a honeycomb pattern, um, this is really just one large LED that's going to be putting out one light. So when you cut that light and you put something in the way of that light, you make one shadow instead of a bunch of little shadows that kind of make that gradation. Great, and this comes in a, uh, a daylight version, yep. uh, and um, then you have, at least you have a tungsten gel in there. Yeah, so this is actually, uh, it's actually not daylight, it's actually a 7,000 uh, color temperature right now, 7,000 Kelvin. So a bit cooler. Yeah, except uh, what we've got here is we've got these little 4x4 four four slots where we'll give you gels that you can slide in, and this gel will change it from 7,000 to this one right here, if you slide that in, changes it to daylight, 5,500. And we also have ones for tungsten, and the idea is that as an accent light, you want to be able to pick any color you want. So you want, if you want blue, if you want green, you will have those gels that you can slide in there too. So you're starting with just a little extra range in the blue in the blue yeah, area. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. So the price point on this little guy, it's uh, $199. Super affordable. So it comes out in September. Um, we're hoping to sell three light kits of them too. That'll be available with the case for about $600. All right on. Cool. Aperture. Yeah. NAB 2016. Get it. <laughs>